I was raised in southern West Virginia, Logan County. My dad was a coal miner. Uh, I had uh, two sisters and a brother, and all of our neighbors were coal miners. Hey, Roman, you want Poppy to fix your bowl of cereal? We was a good community. We depended on coal. That put food on the table. Okay, it's ready, bud. I decided, I think it was around 2005, um, we'd had a son that was born with autism, and we struggled to have uh, services provided for him. The insurance companies didn't have to serve him, and they refused to have service. The only way you can get service was through Medicaid or some other program. Private insurance wouldn't pay for it. So, out of frustration, I talked to a few people, and there were some laws needed to be changed in Charleston. And uh, at that point, I thought, well, maybe I can go make a difference and run for that office. And I ran for it and, and won it. Then once we got in there, it took us, I think it was about four or five years to actually get the law changed. It was called the Autism Insurance Bill. And it, it forced insurance companies such as PIA and so on to cover diagnosis of autism, Asperger's, or anything in that area. Um, but then once we accomplished it, you know, I, I've got educators in my family, uh, coal miners, medical, nurses, doctors, and I seen a big need where I could also be a, you know, big help to them. And also, you know, I'm, I'm a, I was a UPS driver, blue collar, Teamster, Union, and a lot of people on my route that I delivered to, I identified with, because I was one of them. And they would tell me issues that they was concerned about throughout my course of the month or year or whatever, and, uh, and I would work on them. Come session time, I would take them and present bills and try to get them passed, and a lot of times it helped. I worked for 22 years in uh, the mining industry here in West Virginia. I come from a long line of coal miners, my dad, my grandpa, my great-grandpa, generations of coal miners. That's all we ever did. In 2013, I got hurt and wasn't able to work any longer. And I found out that uh, a friend of coal is not necessarily a friend of the coal miner. And Ralph Rodigario is a friend of the coal miner. They was, they was days that I couldn't hardly get out of the bed and uh, just hurt so bad, I just go sit and grit my teeth. And Ralph always checked on me. Ralph, was a, he was a friend. When I needed a friend, uh, Ralph Rodigario was my friend and he's still my friend. I, I remember the kid, my dad, of course, he'd be gone from daylight to dark, and uh, the most exciting part was him coming home with his lunch box and whatever was left over. Me and the, my brother and sister got to fight over it. Um, you know, I, I respect the coal mine and the coal miners. Uh, they worked hard, they risked their life. A fair day's pay for a fair day's work is, is always expected. And the, and the coal miners, uh, the risk they take, to keep the lights on, per se, uh, I support them 100%. Um, I don't know no more of an important job or a dangerous job uh, that these guys do. We are losing quality teachers. Therefore, a lot of unqualified people are teaching our kids. Uh, probably no more important issue than educating the future of West Virginia. So in, in order to do that, we got to keep our quality teachers. We got to have to get their pay up to where we was competitive. And of course, the PA uh, situation for the insurance, for the people and the retirees was very important too. So I had no problem with uh, standing on the picket lines with them and rallying and fighting with them to, to get what they deserved. Ralph is community minded. He has always been supportive and more than willing to um, to help serve in our community. Anytime that there's ever been a need, um, I know that Ralph will be right there 
90% of these people, I go to their homes. I deliver packages to their house. I've watched their kids grow up. I'm either at their house or at their business. They look at me at one of them. Uh, if there's an issue, they can talk to me. I take time and see what their problem was. And I'm not just their uh, delivery guy. Uh, I'm their friend also. I represent the people. Uh, I have certain moral things that, that I believe in in my heart, and they know that when they vote for me. But the issues that come out throughout the year, uh, I, I represent the people. My name is Ralph Rodiguero, and I approve this message. And I'm asking you for your support so I can continue to represent the families of Southern West Virginia.